Hi guys, so today we're having a look at another face mask and this is from W7. Now I've seen makeup from them before, I've seen brushes from them before. This is the first time I've ever seen any skincare. So for those of you that know Glasgow, I found this in Watt Brothers. The RRP for this is 2 99 and this is the Full Facial Pore Minimising Two Step Treatment Mask. Um, packaging's dead cute, it's literally got like a microscope to like suggest that your pores are going to be that small you need a microscope to see them and it's basically a mask and a deep moisturizing cream which contains hyaluronic acid shea butter and macadamia oil um, the mask itself has more hyaluronic acid olive oil and five floral extracts so instructions are basically it's a sheet mask you put it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then after that you apply the cream. So it does say avoid using on blemishes or irritated skin um, and you know usual kind of things stop using if it causes irritation, keep it out of reach of children, keep it out of your eyes so yeah so there's nothing really extra on the website other than what was written on the packet and there's no reviews on the website so we might be first to look at this. So I do have my hairband or one of my many hairbands that crops up when I'm reviewing masks. I'm also going to take my nose stud out because I don't know, I always just feel like if I do that more of my nose will be treated. Um, so let's see where we're at. My skin is being pretty icky just now. Um, so, you know, the blackheads aren't the worst, but it's, it is very uneven. Um, there's some redness in the things, um, blocked and slightly larger pores kicking around, especially in there, it's always my good area. Um, so yeah, and my forehead is just, just interesting. Um, so let's have a look at this. I'm wondering if it's going to smell floral, which is not my favourite set you know, favourite scent, group, category. Um, I'm going to give this a wee squidge around just to... It's one of the things I always forget to do but I feel like I should do with sheet masks just to make sure that there's, you know, it's not settled and there's not any dry spots. Also in this case to get it away from the tear bit. Oh, okay, that's um, that's a juicy one. Um, <laughs> do, do, do. It's got a very fresh scent, it's not particularly floral, um, but it's definitely got a scent. So it is just one of the paper sheet masks, I believe. Yeah, definitely paper one. Um, okay, what way round am I looking at this? Right, cool, okay. I found the right way up. Am I the only one that finds it really difficult to get these unfolded sometimes? I feel like I'm making it a far harder job than it really should be. Oh, that's quite nice. It's like shaped around the forehead there. Can you see that? It's like not like totally like flat. That's nice. Okay. It's, do you know, some of them were marked as being free. Yeah, it's marked as being a 3D mask. I wondered what they meant, but that's what they meant. It's not actually flat. Because, ah, oh, there's a bit to put your chin into. Okay. Okay. Now I get you. I get you. I get why you're 3D. That's cool. Oh, that does make it fit so much nicer. I still feel weird, but, you know. Although I feel like it's not fitting quite as well around my eyes. And there's maybe not quite as much leeway with the 3D-ness. Oh look. <laughs> Let's keep my mouth unblocked so I can chat at you. Okay, so that feels like it's going to be really secure actually. It looks a little bit creepy. Most of them do. Um, the chin bit kind of yeah, I need to pull it in a bit tighter or it just keeps away there. Um, Time-wise, it is 19.33, so I'll be back in 20 minutes and we will see how my skin looks and we will try out the moisturiser. 
Right, so we're almost done. This has stayed in place far more securely than most face masks, with the exception of the chin, which um, I'm glad to see my chin is not the right shape to fit into that. I did try and pull it a bit tighter, had a little bit of tearing, so, you know, be aware of that. Um, what time are we at? Okay, 1952. We're going to call it 20 minutes and just... Oh, more tearing. <laughs> there we go. Whew. So it's not completely soaking, which is quite nice because there's nothing worse than you have a nice face mask and then you take it off and you've just got this goopy mess that you don't know what to do with. So there is still quite a bit of excess in my, in my skin, on my skin, um, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as much given that there is a cream to put on afterwards. Um, so I'm going to give this a little bit of a rub in just for, you know, before we zoom in and have a look at the kind of mask results. Ooh. Okay, so actually my skin I do think looks a little bit nicer. Um, I think with this one it's just a bit more that your skin will be like plump and juicier which is going to kind of help the appearance of your pores um, but I definitely I definitely like that effect my face feels so 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 cool and refreshed um, I actually really am quite liking this I think my skin looks got a nice little glow to it hyaluronic acid which I can never say is a really great ingredient so that's pretty cool so let's get this um, cream out and see how that goes so oh that's quite cute so it's got a wee tear bit here if my hands weren't slimy with face mask out I would probably have an easier time right. so I'm just having a chilling pamper night which is good because I've had a bit of a rough week um, with various things. Not least of all, I got a brand new phone and I was so excited and then I dropped it in the bath. Um, that has almost like a sweet scent. It's very nice. There is quite a lot because I've not squeezed out the whole thing and I've still got absolutely far too much to cover my face. Um, it almost kind of smells like banana. That's really nice, actually. <laughs> I want a banana moisturizer. It doesn't say anything about containing that, so I don't know where I'm getting that smell from, but that is definitely what I am picking up. Um, hmm. Do, 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 do. So it's quite a thick cream. Um, so it's definitely going to lock in all those like ingredients from the mask. Um, I have been watching the mixed makeup, um, you know, Susan Yara review reviewing people's skincare routines, and I am now well aware that you want your thick cream to go on last, um, and it just kind of locks in all your serums and things like that. And sheet masks are effectively an intensive way of applying serum to your skin. So that feels really, really nice again. Um, I've still got that really nice cooling sensation. Um, and yeah, it doesn't seem like it's too heavy. It doesn't seem like it's something that's going to like, you know, just block my pores in a new way. I feel like my skin's going to be really, really nice. And yeah, so I'll be filming a bit more this weekend. So. I might mention in one of those other videos if my skin feels particularly nicer because I was having some kind of dry patches as well and this definitely feels like it's sorted them out. Um, I had some dry, almost peeling skin on my nose. Cannot see that at all. Um, yeah. So, yeah. 
I am happy, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, if you know anywhere that stocks this brand, definitely have a look. They have a few other ones as well. This is just the one that seemed best for my skin type. And if you're wondering what makes their masks 3D, it's the fact that they are actually kind of almost moulded around a face shape and just sit that little bit better on your face. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below. I will put a link to the W7 website as well. Um, I was having a nosy looking for the information on this and there's just more stuff I want to try. But anyway, this for me is firmly in the goodbye category. I might wander back to Watt Brothers and grab a couple more just in case they vanish because the W7 stock at Watt Brothers changes sometimes. So I will see you guys later and I hope you have an awesome weekend lined up. Bye.